Hey guys, Hybrid here. Um, I haven't really made a core video in a very, very, very long time, but I'm making one today. Uh, this one will be talking about the seemingly main antagonist of Book 3 Change it is a guy named Sahir, who's one of the new people to get airbending after harmonic conversions. Um, so I was reading a bunch of forums, talking to people about it, about the character, and about you know what we think the plot's going to be for Season 3, like how it's going to pan out. And we all came to a very interesting theory that I thought I'd share with you guys. Uh, basically, to put it simply, is that Sahir was an, um, an air acolyte. Or um, basically the people that are, essentially they have the traditions of the air nomads. They practice the same things that the air nomads would practice. They just can't airbend. Um, so the air acolytes, which actually if you read the uh, Avatar comics... Um, stem from Avatar Aang's fan club, which I think is hilarious, but uh, that's just a brief history thing that doesn't really fit into, well, it fits into the show, obviously, but it doesn't really matter to what I'm saying. But anyways, the big theory is that he was an air acolyte, and I guess uh, either he really wanted to be an airbender, or uh, and he wanted Aang to make him an airbender, something along those lines, or, you know, just something happened that kind of shaded him. From when he started the Air Acolyte to uh, later on. And you know there's a big theory going around right now also that we all talked about. That maybe it's something. It could be something really petty to where you know. He saw Aang as a father like figure. And you know he was like Aang's star student in regards to Air Acolytes until Tenzin came. And there's like maybe like a somewhat pseudo uh, sibling rivalry here uh, going on. Which you know if you studied Freudian psychology you'd kind of understand uh, I guess how for some people that might be blown up even more, um, you know, by jealousy and stuff. But anyways, big thing is that something, I guess, happened, and then he ends up killing Aang. Uh, we know Aang dies in a, from a, in a relatively early, like, age, uh, so to speak. And there's no reason, really, that he should die from, you know, aging at such a young age, considering how well he seemed to have, be doing beforehand with no ill effects. So it does. It does, It did seem kind of odd, and it did seem like he did die abruptly. So the big theory right now is that he killed Avatar Aang, and also he killed Sokka, which is why Sokka's dead too, because we know he's not around anymore, which is kind of weird. And we know he was part of the group that put um, Zaheer and his Red Lotus gang, which, by the way, they're officially called the Red Lotus, um, put the Red Lotus gang in prison so it's possible that and that would be why he would be put in because if you pay attention to it he was put in a pretty high security prison um all of them were obviously but him especially he i believe had more white lotus guards guarding him than any of the other ones and he's not even a bender so that seems kind of weird and just also due to the amount of knowledge he had about airbending airbending history and just he seemed to know like the air temple where like they went to eventually when you know he did get airbending and all that stuff um before kaya discovered it was really zaheer first off she knew who he was which would let which would lead some you know information onto like they've met before especially tendon's reaction to uh zaheer getting out it was rather like it wasn't just something like oh he's a world criminal it seemed like something much more serious in that regard and people were like well why is he going after avatar Korra? It may just be because she's the next life of Avatar Aang, uh, possibly, but there's also another theory going around that um, maybe he wanted to, I guess, kind of train uh, the next Avatar, so to speak, to uh, be, I guess, whatever he wants it to be. I don't know. There's tons of theories going around. I just wanted to share this theory with you guys that uh, me and a bunch of other people were talking about because I thought it was a really interesting idea, and if it if it panned out this way, I'd be totally fine with it. I think that'd be pretty cool. I just hope if he is the one who kills Aang, I just hope they go into it a bit more, uh, like for motivation for it. So that's a pretty big thing to do. But it would explain why you know him and I guess all of his buddies, so to speak, are put in such high security prisons because that's a big crime, killing the Avatar, especially one as revered as Aang. So comment below what your guys' thoughts. Um, as hybrid, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>